word. It is time for our Too Faithful to Feel devotional with Pastor Charles and Pastor Mrs. Deborah Charles Osazua. Today is Friday, the 27th day of September 2024. Our topic is the power of a leader's words. Our uncle's scripture states, A fool altereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it until afterwards. Proverbs 29 verse 11 Leadership involves recognizing the profound impact of our words. A leader who speaks impulsively or excessively may lose respect and diminish the authority. Words are potent tools. When used wisely, they can inspire and guide. But when used carelessly, they can cause confusion and harm. Proverbs 10 verse 19 teaches, In the multitude of words, there wanted not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. Excessive talking can lead to regretful remarks and errors. Wisdom lies in knowing when to speak and when to remain silent. As restraint often demonstrates thoughtfulness and control, a leader's words should be intentional and meaningful. Proverbs 29 verse 11 advises, A fool altereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it until afterwards. This means that wise leaders reflect carefully before speaking, understanding that their words carry significant weight and influence. Speaking thoughtfully ensures that one's words are respected and impactful. Jesus exemplified this in John 7 verse 46, where officers remarked, Never man speak like this man. His words were profound and authoritative, demonstrating the power of speaking with wisdom. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 2 further advises, Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to alter anything before God. For God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let the words be few. By recognizing the gravity of our words, especially as leaders, we cultivate respect and honor. It shows that we value our speech and its impact on others. Let us pray. Please say after me, Lord, help us recognize the power of our words and use them to inspire, guide, and uplift others. Guide our speech so that we may lead with honor and integrity. Praise God. Let us take the confession together. My words are powerful. I will use them wisely to glorify God and inspire those I lead. Praise God. I thank you for being part of this morning devotion. I believe God from what you have taken in through the word of God today. As you step out, your day is blessed, your week is blessed, your family is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will be doing this again tomorrow morning. Stay tuned. God bless you.